Hi there, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria. Uh, and today I'm gonna go over a great exercise that both works sh the strength and flexibility you need for Dragon Boat. So Dragon Boat has a very interesting panel, right? You're sitting and you've got one hand on top of the oar and your other hand uh, a little bit lower, but you need to be in a side bend, a lean and a rotation, and then you pull back from there, right? So this is gonna help with the flexibility of existing in that position. Plus it actually feels really good even if you don't do dragon boat. So if you have a pole or um, a broom, if you don't have either of those, you'll, you can do this using a door jam. But you're gonna put the pole on the ground and you're gonna square off your toes towards that pole. So your legs are like a distance apart but whichever hand is gonna be lower on the pole, that foot's gonna be forward. You're gonna bend both knees, and the shorter the pole, the more you might need to do that, but also a little bit the shorter the pole, the more you're gonna to have to work to get into that twist and challenge your flexibility more. So you can play with what you need given you the range you exist in on your dragon pole. All right, so legs and knees are forward, little bend, one hand low, and your palm is facing forward. You're gonna take your other hand, place it on the pole, palm also facing forward. So you're starting here square, sticking that butt out, the spine is neutral. You're gonna straighten your back leg, rotate that hip, push the pole away and twist, and you're trying to get one shoulder stacked over the other. Then come out of that, soften the knees. Push back on those hips, straighten the back leg. Your front leg might straighten or change. Change. You are pushing the pole away and then return. And push that hip back, twist and rotate one shoulder stacked over the other and release. Of course, especially because Dragon Boat can be so one-sided, it's worth doing this stretch on both sides for the health of your body. But if you're short on time, Obviously do it with whichever arm is up on, on the paddle. That's the one that you'd want at the top of the pole here. And that leg straightening, even though it's not like uh, uh, that you do that leg straightening when you're paddling in Dragon Boat, but it helps to kind of connect that you get the strength and momentum from your feet all the way through the torso. So anyway, play with that. Let me know how you like it. And as always, have a wonderful day and keep moving.